yeah, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Cats. Welcome back to another episode of Walk Out TV on Comcast 15. I'm Kinsey Peterman. And I'm Hannah Young. Let's get this episode started by raising some money. Or Decca is raising some money. Daniela will tell us how. Hey Wildcats, I'm Daniela Cervantes. You've probably seen these around, and if you don't know what they are, I'm here to tell you all about it. Each St. Patrick's Day season for the last 37 years, MDA has partnered with 20,000 retailers nationwide to raise a little green. More than 323 million to be exact both to send kids to MDA summer camp and to fund groundbreaking research efforts and best-in-class care for kids and adults living with muscular dystrophy disease. If you don't know what MDA is, here's a little background info. Muscular dystrophy is a group of muscle diseases that result in increasing weakening and breakdown of the skeletal muscles over time. The disorder differs in which muscles are affected, the degree of weakness, how fast they worsen, or when the symptoms begin. Many people will eventually become unable to walk. With a simple dollar or more, supporters can sign their name on an iconic paper shamrock. And if you're interested in attending the MDA summer camp as a counselor, make sure to speak to Mrs. Foga. Signing out for Wildcat TV, I'm Daniela Cervantes. Okay, listen, I know I'm not the smartest. Aw, uh, Hannah, I think you're pretty smart, just not as smart as these scholars. Hey Wildcats, it's Ash, and I'm here with Mariah Lawrence, who is one of 4,500 students that were chosen for the Presidential Scholars Program. So, how did you react whenever you figured out you made it in? Um, my initial reaction was that I was a bit confused. I didn't necessarily understand exactly what it was, um, but once I found out that it was a legitimate thing, I got really excited because it's a really cool opportunity. Mariah was chosen out of 3.5 million students. Had you ever heard of this program before? I had not. I was very clueless to what it was, but I did some research about it when I did find out um, so that I could understand it fully. The Presidential Scholars Program was started in 1964 and was expanded in 2015 to include more areas of success. Uh, how did you qualify for this program? It's a mixture of like a couple things, I believe, between um, academics as well as leadership qualities. Um, so being that I am Missouri DECA president, I hope that that helped out um, a little bit for it, as well as um, always being a student that's been very motivated towards their grades. DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, and hospitality. When will you know when you made it in? I'll know in April if I made the semifinals, and then in May I'll figure out if I actually get to go. 161 scholars are chosen by the president in May. So what do you get if you're one of the scholars? I will get to go to Washington DC over the summer on a full expense paid trip to be able to be recognized as well as um, with all of the other students who were accepted in for it. And so I hope that I get to go. Alrighty, well congratulations, I wish you luck. Thank you. Signing off for Wildcat TV, it's Ash. Do you feel smarter now? I do, so smart I'm gonna go spend some money at the Cat's Corner. Recently, School Base Enterprise and the Cat's Corner held a school-wide shirt design contest. Submissions were narrowed down and the student body voted for the top two. Our winners were Macy Sprecher and Sky Hansen. Their designs were printed onto shirts and are now on sale in the Cat's Corner. These are limited edition and each shirt is $20. Visit the Cat's Corner to grab yours. Okay, okay, time me. One, two, three, four, five. Um, ben and Nav will have some more talented people. Hey Wildcats, I'm Ben. I went around the school to find some cool talents. Let's check them out. Holding breath. Hi, my name's William Thomas, and I can hold my breath for over one second. <gasps> Card manipulation. Hello, my name is Matthew Digert, and I like cards. Arm scarf. Uh, hi, my name is Kira Satterley, and I can wear my arms as a scarf. Piano. Uh, my name is Linda Verdette, and I play a little piano. Snaps loud. 
My name is Kaylin, and I can snap really loud. Thank you guys for showcasing your amazing talents. If you have a talent that you want showcased on Wildcat TV, stop by room 4... What the... Oh, no! Ah, no! Ah! Ben? Ben? Are we still recording right now? Thank you to everyone who showcased their talents. If you have a talent that you want to showcase, make sure you stop by at room 408. I'm Nub, and back to you at the studio. Mmm, I could do that. How about you try over commercial break? Join Big Frog Custom T-Shirts as they celebrate the Future Leaders T-Shirt Scholarship Program. Here's how it works. Now through March 31st, 2020, each time you order custom-made shirts for Blue Spring schools, clubs, and associations, 10% of the total purchase will help fund grants and scholarships distributed through the Blue Springs Education Foundation. It's a win-win situation. Design your own t-shirt at the area's largest selection of styles and colors, and 10% of the cost goes right back into the Blue Springs Education Foundation. For more information, contact Big Frog at 816-795-1115, or stop by and check out the big store. Big Frog Custom T-Shirts, located just off I-70 in Independence. Hey Wildcats, this is Brandon Jackley, the owner of Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We want to invite you out every day after school so you can get your favorite Chick-fil-A treat. And don't forget, it's a great day to be a Wildcat. Don't forget that one act auditions are today after school in the drama den. Kenzie, how fast can you run? Well, my 40 is like 30 seconds. Why? Well, Kogan has some updates about some speedy people who graduated from Blue Springs. Hey, Wildcats. We had some former Wildcat football players have an outstanding performance at the NFL Combine. Former Blue Springs High School defensive linemen Khalil and Carlos Davis each had amazing performances. Khalil led the University of Nebraska last season with 8 sacks and 11 tackles for loss, along with 45 tackles. Carlos recorded 4 sacks and 5 tackles for a loss, his most productive season since his sophomore year. Both essential parts in the Nebraska defense that was ranked 66th in the nation in points allowed. Carlos went into the combine listing as a defensive tackle, came in at 6'2", 313 pounds, and Khalil listed as a defensive aim, coming out at 6'1", 308 pounds. NFL Next Gen Stats named the Twins the top two defensive linemen at the combine, giving Khalil a 99 out of 100 and Carlos received a 96. The brothers' 40-yard dash times, a huge part of that success. They had the top two 40-yard dash times for all defensive linemen at the combine. Khalil ran a 4.75 and Carlos a 4.83. The NFL Network reported that Khalil's time was the fastest for any combine participant over 300 pounds since 2003. Both brothers' 10-yard splits were also the fastest of their position at a 166 and a 167. Khalil also had 32 repetitions in the 225-pound bench press to help boost his performance. Those repetitions placed him in a tie for the second most repetitions among defensive linemen and top 10 among all players at the combine as of Saturday afternoon. Overall, the outstanding results should help both athletes get drafted in next month's NFL Draft. Khalil is heading into the draft with a 5.90 grade and Carlos a 5.40, both with chances to make an NFL roster. Make sure to look out for both Davis wins on April 23rd for the NFL Draft. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Kogan Davis. Okay, well I'm definitely not that fast. Let's train over this break. Nate Mitchell, new co-owner here at Culver's in Blue Springs. Believe it or not, we're celebrating 12 years out here on 7 Highway. We want you guys to come check out our newly renovated dining room. Get yourself one of them famous butter burgers. Well, believe it or not, those things are never started cooking until after you order it. You know what goes perfect with that Culver's Bacon Deluxe is it creates your own concrete mixer, baby. Thanks again for your 12 years of support. Come see us down here at South 7 Highway. Can't wait to see you. Scout Coffee is located in downtown Blue Springs on Main Street. They serve all types of coffee, tea, kombucha, and Polly's Pops. They also have seasonal flavors such as pumpkin and snickerdoodle lattes, as well as apple cider. Scout Coffee offers a discount to all BSSD students and staff when they show their IDs. 
Go like them on Facebook at Scout Coffee or on Instagram at Scout Coffee KC for updates, offers, or new promotions. Scout out a great time with good coffee. Welcome back. Now time for announcements about Accents on Academics. Here's a quick reminder for the Accent on Academics breakfast this Thursday the 12th. Freshmen will have breakfast at 7.30, sophomores at 8.30, juniors at 9.30, and seniors will have dinner at 6.30 p.m. I have something to say! Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That is so unoriginal. Good thing Mariah has some original promposals. Hey Wildcats, it's Mariah Lawrence. And since prom season is coming up soon, I realized that I don't have a date to prom. Let's see how I fix that. I realized that I had to put together multiple promposals, so I started with Tim's, which was a box of donuts that said, Donut Let Me Go Alone, prom? As I went through this process, I also made three other posters, one for Alexis, one for Kylie, and one for Taylor. Tim was the first person who I asked, and unfortunately, he said no, but we still enjoyed the donuts anyway. The next poster I made was for Taylor, and for her promposal, I also utilized one of my favorite things in this entire world, my dog. Taylor was super excited when I got to her house with this promposal, and she said yes. Now here's a fun little clip of me dancing in my car as I was headed on to Chick-fil-A for the next one. Yay, safe driving. Alexis as well was super excited when I got to her house and delivered her Chick-fil-A order to her and asking, will you be my chick at prom? And she said yes. The last promposal that I had was for Kylie. And unfortunately, Kylie wasn't free at the same time as everybody else. And so I was able to meet up with her before school to deliver her promposal. Being that Kylie really enjoys Disney movies, I wanted to be able to take a really cute, creative twist on this. And so I got some inspiration from the movie Up, and I said, are you up for prom? And drew the little Up house, to which she said yes as well. The importance I learned here is to take into consideration different people's interests and what they enjoy so that I could cater to them with their promposal. So when you're putting together a promposal for someone, take those things into consideration. Even though Tim didn't say yes, I can always count on my girls for a good time. I know the three of us are super excited to be able to experience our senior prom together this year on April 4th. Don't forget to buy your tickets. I'm glad that I have a date now. Now Wildcats, if you don't, maybe take one of these ideas and use it to your advantage. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Mariah Lawrence. Well, now I just need somebody to ask. <sighs> Anyways, spring break is so close. River, what's everyone doing? Hey, come here. I gotta ask you a question. Come here. Why? Okay. Oh, that's sad. Um, I don't know, honestly. No, I'm not that I know of. Uh, what are you doing over spring break? Hanging out with friends. All spring break, the whole time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. Got a question? Psych. Psych? Yep. Uh, what are you doing over spring break? Hey, guys. Oh, what are you guys doing over spring break? <laughs> what are you doing over spring break? <laughs> what are you doing over spring break? I have no clue. I'm shredding some gnar in Colorado. Oh, yeah, I'll be there too, with your brother. Uh, track. Uh, what are you doing over spring break? Sleeping. It's boring. Going to Mexico. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, nice and warm. Cat's Corner. What are you both doing over spring break? Sleeping. Playing baseball. Playing baseball. Uh, what are you doing for spring break? Uh, chilling. That's about it. That's it. Just chilling. Yeah. Chilling with the bros. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. What are you doing for spring break? Going skiing. 
Where at? Breckenridge. I'm gonna be in Copper Mountain. So I'll be right next to you. Yeah, just run into you. That'll be fun. Can I kick it? Oh. Uh, are you guys gonna be playing hacky stack all spring break? Uh, or what are you no. Doing? What are you doing? There? Barely know these guys, honestly. Oh. Eh. New friends, right? No. Oh. Friends are bad. Oh. Well, what are you doing over spring break? That's a great question. You don't know? No. It's what? gonna happen as it goes? Yep. Oh, that'll be fun. What are you guys doing over spring break? Oh, main event. Main event. Working? No. Oh. Just to just, hang out. That'll be fun. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Fixing my truck and working. That's about it. What? <laughs> what are you guys doing over spring break? Okay, bye. Oh, sorry. What are you doing over spring break? Not much. Nothing? Reading or do something? Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, I'm going to CTC because Fort Osage can't work with the rest of the school district. That'll be fun. I hope you have a great spring break. I'm not going to. You'll have a great spring break. I know you will. Hi, guys. Bye. Bye. What are you doing over spring break? I'm going to ride my bike a few times. I'm going to chill out, do a few crosswords, and hopefully get a suntan. Crosswords? Yeah, I love crosswords, yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. Look hey, who it you is. See, you see? Cool. Awesome. What are you doing spring break, then? Uh, a lot of stuff. Well, if you guys don't know what you're doing for spring break, Zoe and Ashlyn got some stuff. Thanks, River. <laughs> hey, Wildcats. It's Zoe. And I'm Ashlyn. Spring break is coming up, and we have a few fun activities you guys can do if you're staying at home. Go hang out at the park! Hey, Zoe! You can grab coffee and food with some friends. Go explore a museum! Take a nap! Or go shopping! There's so many fun things you can do right here in KC. Yeah, and just remember, stay safe and have fun. <laughs> Signing off, I'm Zoe. And I'm Ashlyn. Okay, wow, I'm gonna be so busy trying all those new ideas. Well, that's it for this week's episode. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day to be a Wildcat. Rare! <laughs> Ew, we got it. Every Guys, time. every time, you know, if you can do it.